This video shows how to install StableWorks telescoping stabilizers on a Kubota L2501. For the L2501, you will need a 16 and 24 millimeter socket, a 16 and 24 millimeter combination wrench or adjustable wrench, a ratchet, and a pair of pliers. Everything comes labeled for the specific location where it goes. With a 24 millimeter socket or wrench, remove the old turnbuckle style stabilizer from the lift arm. Move the lift arm out of the way. Now we need to remove the cotter pin, washer, and pin from the front of the stabilizer arm. The easiest way is to bend the cotter pin back into a straight line and then pull it with the pliers. These stabilizers are produced by Mark Hodge. When I ordered these, it was about a year's wait, but they are high quality and well worth that wait. Set the old stabilizer bar aside. Now we need to attach the front adapter to the same spot we removed the cotter pin assembly from. This uses a 16 millimeter grade eight bolt. Now we will install the left lift arm bracket onto the lift arm. This uses a 24 millimeter grade eight bolt. Impact tools are not required, but they do make this job much quicker. Now we will be installing the left stabilizer bar. Mark has done a great job of labeling these and even tells you which end goes on which part of the tractor. First, we will slide the front bracket into the stabilizer bar and pass through the 16 millimeter bolt. Remove the pin to extend the stabilizer bar and attach this end to the lift arm bracket with a 16 millimeter bolt. As you can see, there's a lot of movement allowed when the pin is removed. Due to Mark's offset design, there are many combinations of widths you can put the arms at. This makes it very simple to adjust the lift arms instead of having to twist the old turnbuckle style stabilizers. Using a 16 millimeter socket and wrench, we firmly seat the nuts. We do not need to over tighten these, they are just to hold the unit on and do not fully squeeze together. Now we simply repeat the procedure for the right side of the tractor. 
Again, we remove the old stabilizer's 24 millimeter nut. We then remove the pin assembly near the axle. Now we install the stabilizer adapter at the rear axle. With a 24 millimeter socket and wrench, we install the lift arm bracket onto the right lift arm. Now we take the right stabilizer bar and slide it into the front adapter and insert the 16 millimeter bolt. Now we can extend the bar and attach it to the bracket with another 16 millimeter bolt. We finish by tightening down the 16 millimeter nuts and bolts. We now have a massive amount of articulation between the two arms that is quickly set with the pins.